it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 14th December 14th this is for all signs we're just gonna see what comes up I did just start a new segment for singles if you haven't seen it yet go check in my videos so it's for the element so I have a singles reading that will go from December 15th to the 31st um, for fire signs earth signs water signs and air signs go check them out December 15th through the 31st, this reading that I'm doing today is geared for the 14th, which would be Friday, December 14th. This is for all signs. We're just going to see what comes up. I'm going to get one of these, and then we're going to use that deck. I usually don't do this for the dailies, but for some reason I am today. At the end, I'm also going to get one of these um, Archangel Michael cards as well, so... tied up somebody is stuck but it looks like they're breaking free because this is it's been a challenge staying where they're at has been a challenge okay and it's like I don't I don't want to stay here anymore so it appears to me that they've been in some sort of conflict and they've been perhaps trying to protect some themselves or protect another person and it's kept it's kept them stuck and now it's like it's I think they're reaching the point of wanting to break free, okay? Whenever a card comes out sideways, it's, it, there's, there's some sort of challenge. There's, you know, some sort of opposition here. So somebody is probably on the verge of, of um, getting untied from something. Or they have just gotten untied or they're still stuck it could go either way right comfortable though comfortably stuck I mean As you can see the look on my face you can't though it's just like uh, my eyes are all squinted and I'm looking down like something is up something is up it's something like there's something that is about to be revealed it's like hmm something is go going on it's going to be revealed you know, it's like my eyes are narrowed and I, it's like I'm uh, looking at my nose. <laughs> kind of, it's weird, it is. Something's going on here. Something funky is about to happen. Um, the Page of Swords. Yeah, there's probably a message that's going to come in that's probably, this is a conflict okay there's a message that is probably going to make you feel uncomfortable or um, it may even hurt hurt you whatever this message is this is a this is a honest message somebody is coming to you with some sort of communication that may hurt Whatever this message is. <clears throat> you notice I just cleared my throat. Yeah, there's there's some sort of communication coming through that may make you feel uh, uncomfortable or conflicted or in your thoughts. You know, it may make you think, really, really think about something. <sighs> Whatever is happening is changing your course. 
it's heading you towards abundance, right? Freedom of some sort. King of Cups, this is a person that has really good intentions for love. It's emotional as well. So you could be receiving a message that, you know, makes you feel emotional, makes you feel, um, it's a heartfelt, you know, it, it affects your, your heart. It makes you feel, it, it definitely affects your heart. This, this message that's coming in, um, could change your change your path drastically but you know you could be the person that's independent loving it loving it you receive this message from somebody and you're like oh shit I don't know ace of coins this is like a lost opportunity a missed opportunity you know maybe this person has already lost the opportunity it's a little too late a little too late to communicate. They hung around for quite some time. Like I said, somebody's thinking about getting untied. That's why this card is here. They've been enlightened. I was looking at the purple when I went silent. I was look when I was looking at that card. I was seeing all the purple. It's like there's a, a heavenly, uh, divine. message coming through okay there is somebody has been receiving some sort of divine guidance in regards to breaking free you know they've been enlightened somebody has been enlightened for sure and it's I think you're going to receive some communication that you know <laughs> well I'm not I'm going to get the rest of these cards then we're going to go Mm. Somebody wants a new beginning. Somebody wants a new start. Interesting. Ooh, the death card. Son of a bitch. Oh, God. The eight of coins. Somebody is giving up. They had given up. They didn't put in effort. Somebody didn't put in effort to an opportunity when they had it. And now it's ended. And it looks as though, you know, now somebody is going to communicate after they have been stuck in a situation. They've been, they were confused. Whoever the pe person is that you were dealing with was confused. They were living in some sort of fantasy, you know. They didn't choose the right option. Son of a bitch. So it looks to me as though there was some sort of ending here, a chapter that has completed. We have somebody here that has found their strength. They found their abundance. They're no longer living in misery. They're grateful for the experience. They're good. They're good. You know, they've, they've done a lot of healing. They're just, I'm really good with where I'm at. We have another person that sees that. This other person made a uh, stupid decision. They made the wrong choice. And now they see that something has ended and they want to uh, relight that fire. And this, Or this could be somebody new. This could be somebody brand new that sees that another person is doing quite well. They've healed their... Abundant, you know, the whole nine yards. I'm, I, I'm good. I'm, it's, we got a woman, or this could be anybody, really. A person that really has their shit together. We have a person here that really, really has their shit together. This person has multiple options. you got to see what's mirroring each other. This person has multiple options because, I'm going to say she, because it's she in the card. Because she has worked hard to manifest to persevere, 
to um, heal, whatever. She's worked on everything to bring success to her life. She's abundant on her own. And because she's so abundant, she has multiple options. So we have one person here that has multiple options. We have another person that sees this person has multiple options. They see that this person is doing great. And perhaps, you know, they want some of that. They want some of that fortune. They want some of that good stuff. This is good stuff right here. But it looks like the opportunity was thrown away because somebody didn't put in effort because they are stuck in their thoughts. They were stuck in their head. They were, who knows what kind of game they were playing. But now there's been some sort of completion, some sort of death, some sort of release. It's like... I think that one of these people has completely released. They're closing that door. They're, the chapter is done. It's, it's over. And they're, they're starting in a new direction. They've went through their healing transformation. You know, they've done a lot of healing and they've released. And now they're getting good things. All the good things are coming to them because they've found their self-worth and their self respect The whole nine yards. I mean, they're just... <laughs> got it going on this person has released completely headed down headed towards real fortune the wheel of fortune they they this is a card of free will and destiny we have somebody here that took a stand didn't just wait for destiny this person actually took steps to bring success no shit to bring abundance into their life and now they are no longer holding on to what was. They've released. And now we have a new opportunity, a new beginning here, a new, a new passionate beginning being offered. Oh, my goodness. But it looks like an opportunity. It could be too late because it looks like this opportunity was dropped. It's already been because somebody didn't put in effort. And perhaps now this person is communicating because, you know, they don't, want, they don't want you to cross that bridge. They don't want you to accept a new opportunity. They want you to accept theirs because you have a choice between two. That's what this card is. You have two options here, the new and the old. Once you cross that bridge and you go through that door, it's over. And whoever it is that you are dealing with sees that. They know that. They know that. And I think that we have somebody here that has multiple options. This is options. And this is a decision. And this is, is a decision. So it looks like we have a person here that is in the, going to be presented with a choice, a decision. Do you, you know, and it's, and it's going to bring some conflict when that communication comes in. Now, it's like, do I even want to communicate with you? Do I even want to cross that bridge? Do I even want to continue on this? Do I even want to communicate with you? Because the minute you start that communication, it's like that door opens back up. So I think we have a, a little bit of a complex decision here. We have somebody here that is, is just doing fantastic, you know, on their own, abundant, grateful, blessed in, you know, a very, very worthy, knows their worth. And, you know, it's like she's ready for love. She's got one love bird here. So, yeah, we have somebody that is, is ready for love. This person is absolutely 100% ready for love. And it looks like somebody's flying in. Somebody is flying in to offer this person who is very, very ready for love. They're flying in. They're flying in to, you know, meet their match. I mean, these are lovebirds. They are lovebirds. She got one of them in her hand. All right, she's ready. She's ready to release it. She's ready. Now somebody's coming. Now that we have the, the mate coming in, and the mate is right up there. 
So it looks like the, the mate is arriving because she's ready. And now she has to decide past or present. What's going to be? Now there's an opportunity here that has been missed or lost or it's just, I mean, you can't fight gravity. You don't pick it up. It's, it's somebody else is going to take it or it's going to fade away. Now somebody has already thrown away this golden opportunity. It's this person that was stuck in their head. Who knows why? They already threw the opportunity away. Somebody threw the opportunity away. They didn't put in effort. They didn't, they didn't work on it. They didn't, they didn't put in any hard work. Upright, this is, the, this is the worker. Work, 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 work. I'll do anything to succeed. I'll do anything to make it work. I'll stay up all night if we have to, you know, this could go so many ways. This, when you get this eight of pentacles or eight of coins, this is somebody that will do anything to make it work. Somebody didn't do they you know and he has his robe on he was doing working at night we have somebody that you know didn't put in effort probably went to bed angry you know and lost the opportunity you know when when the shit gets going we're just not gonna we're not gonna work on it we're gonna bail <laughs> so you know we're not gonna talk about it. i'm gonna roll over and go to sleep and we're not gonna talk about it that's a lost opportunity for, for stability and security. So we have somebody that did not put in effort into a real solid opportunity. And it looks like it's, it could be lost already. So, because um, this is a lost opportunity. But it looks like we have here that there's a change of, change of direction, a change of course. Because of a, because of a death, because something has ended. Now there's an opportunity for a, a, a passionate new beginning. And somebody may be coming through with this offer of love. Now this person has to choose. So I feel as though we have somebody that has went through some sort of transformation. And now we have a new offer coming in. It's probably two offers, okay? There's probably two offers here. That's pro there probably is two offers. And now we have this person here that has to make a choice. She does. She has to make a choice. You know, which, 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 which offer is going to be the most, is going to have the most growth. <laughs> Is gonna, which offer is going to stay lit? Which match is going to burn the longest? Because we have the match, the perfect match, the mate coming in. You know, this is like a match. Which match is going to last the longest? So yeah, we have somebody here that has to make a decision. And it's because something has ended. There's been some sort of release. And now there's an opportunity to begin again, okay? Start a whole new chapter. It's like one chapter is closing and a new chapter is beginning. Absolutely. No, you can't, you can't, that's what this is. It's a completion of one phase and the beginning of another. One phase of your life is over. And somebody sees that you have released. They see that. They see that. And they see that you have a lot of good sh things coming into your life because that's good fortune. Because you have released. But, and it feels like because they didn't put in, uh, they didn't put in effort. They lost the opportunity and it looks like, you know, I don't know. Let's get some more cards there. So they may be, they may have been watching you. They, you know, the page of swords up there. They may have been watching you behind the scenes, whatever. And now they see that you're crossing that bridge. And they don't want to let you go. Now, what, what was yesterday's? This is like the same as yesterday's. 
God, I grabbed the wrong deck, didn't I? We're going to have to take it. Oh, man holding coin. Man's, we have a man coming in with an offer. 100% all the way. We absolutely do. We have a man that is going to be making a solid offer. He may even have something in his, this is like a, a gift, something tangible. So it looks as though we have somebody coming in with some sort of <clears throat> gift. He's coming in with something. Let's get some more. He's been divinely guided to get unstuck. Now this is a seven. He's been conflicted and tied up for some time, but it looks like we have this man that's, he wants, you know, you add this pentacle to the nine, it makes a ten of pentacles. This is the mate. It's the mate that I was telling you about gets to the ten of, he wants a relationship. Somebody is going to receive communication from a man that he wants a relationship with you. If you are this woman who has her shit together. If you are the man that has this offer, that has this pentacle, you could have this woman. But this woman doesn't. This woman knows her worth to the point she ain't going to communicate with you. If you are the man and you are waiting for this woman to communicate with you, you might as well go look someplace else. Because this woman right here, she knows her worth. She's worked hard to get where she's at. This woman is basically the empress in the minor arcana she is. She's not, she's not the empress. She's not the major. But she's damn, damn, damn close. You could say that they're almost the same card. But it, this is in the minor. Very abundant. Wise. If you, if you are this man and you have this opportunity and you're waiting for this abundant woman to contact you, <laughs> you ain't talking to the right woman. Because this woman ain't gonna. She knows her worth. Harvest time. And this is, the time is ripe as well. Look at the blooms. Look at, I mean, it is harvest time. It's harvest time. Time to receive the rewards that this person has worked so hard to achieve. Time to receive the mate that she has been holding out for. She hasn't let this dove fly because she's waiting for that mate to arrive to her. Do you understand, fellas? She could let that fly. She could let that go, but she's not because she's holding out. And he's coming. Harvest time. Wish. Her wish is being granted by the man. The man that has the gold. The man that has the stamina. The man that has the strength. The man that has the security. And I'm talking about inner security. This man is secure enough to make the offer because he's not insecure. He's got it to secure. He is secure. He's stable. He's reliable. He's not afraid. He's not wishy-washy. So, yeah, it looks to me, I mean, you could be dealing with it. This is a, this is probably, this could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This would be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be any sign. They all could be. These could be. But, it, but these, this is the trait of the King of Pentacles. The traits. This man is stable. He's solid. And he's ready. And he's not afraid to communicate. So we have this woman here that has been holding out for her mate to arrive. She'd been working on herself. And it looks like her mate sees that he has the missing piece to complete her abundance so that they can be in a relationship. So, oh, yes, that's exactly what this is. And so, yeah, we have, uh, we have uh, an arrival of...
a new partnership. It's time to reap the rewards of your hard work. If you are this woman that has held on tightly and been patient enough and worked on yourself, be prepared for this arrival of Mr. Right. Oh, Jesus. God Almighty. <laughs> oh. I mean, what more can I say? This is the same guy. Not only does he have something in his hand, his heart is ready. He's coming in with a heartfelt offer. And this man is taking on the traits of the King of Cups and the King of Pentacles. This is the King of Cups. He's taking on the tra He's ready to open his heart. And he has something solid and stable to offer. And we have a new door opening. This man has the key. And he's coming to unlock that cage. He's going to walk through that door and open that heart. It's the answer to your prayers. So we have a woman that is been waiting for her mate to arrive. She'd been holding out for this arrival. And he's, and he's here, he's here. But when he arrives with this offer, when he communicates, she's going to be conflicted because this is the defining moment when she decides to change her life. Because once she allows that, that destined change, one chapter closes. One opportunity that she held on to falls away because she accepts another one. So we have a woman here that is about to be presented with a choice. To go in a new direction and to close one chapter and begin another. Endings bring new beginnings. You're at a crossroads and you got to make a choice. Do you accept this new opportunity or do you keep holding on to the past? Because once you cross that bridge, your new life starts and the old chapter is closed. This is a choice. So yeah, we have we have uh we have an arrival of a mate for this woman who has worked on herself and she's worked hard because to get harvest time you have to grow. She's worked hard. She's been independent. She's been taking care of business. She's found her own abundance. She's waited. And here we go. She's wished for this mate. She's prayed for this mate. 
and he's been divinely guided to come at this time. So we do have a, a new beginning here. We have a new beginning, a new passionate beginning. Uh, there will probably be an instant, instant, uh, it could be an instant, uh, spark, okay, with this man. When you, when you, when, whether you run into him someplace or he communicates, it's, it's really going to, uh, Ignite the passion within you. Put it that way. It is. It's, it's just like, oh my God. It's all of a sudden you're, it's like you're, whew. It's going to be an eruption. It is. It's good. You're probably going to feel like it's been, there's been some sort of eruption. Your heart is going to feel like it's erupted, right? It is. It's going to be hot. It is going to be hot. You're probably going to feel hot all over. Um, yeah, you are. Because it's just going to be so exciting. It is. You're going to feel excited. You're going to be like, oh my God, I can't believe this shit. Um, I really can't believe this shit. So, yeah, we have, a, we have a, a passionate new beginning here with somebody that is ready. They're ready. They're ready to uh, light that fire. Light her fire. <laughs> but it's going to be mutual, okay? It is going to be mutual. So rest assured, if you're the man watching this, she's, she's going to be full of it too. She's ready. She's ready. She's ready to explode as well. I'm sure of it. So um, anyway, that's what I have for the 14th. There's, a, there's an ending here with the death card. There's an ending that is, um, you know, a release. And when you truly, truly, truly release something that no longer serves you, that's when the wheel spins and brings you something better. And that's what's happened here. Somebody has truly released. They truly have. Not just pr pretend, you know. They don't. It's not. This isn't a person who's just told all her friends, you know, I've let this person go and then go home and look him up on Facebook. No, it ain't this. That ain't her. Okay. This 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 person has absolutely positively let this end. She has let something end. She has totally released something. Transformed. And because she's transformed, it's like now, you know, because her she took, you know, free will. She's she's done her part. Now, destiny is bringing her perfect mate, her mate. So, that door to romance is opening for this woman. If you are that man, make that offer. Because if you don't, somebody else is going to. There's, this woman has multiple options. She does have multiple options. If you are uh, thinking about making an offer to this woman, whoever, and you know who she is, and you are this man, and you're waiting for her to come to you, you're going to die waiting. She knows her worth. If you are this man and you know who this woman is, make that offer. She's ready. She's ready. And if you don't, you're going to lose the opportunity. With an opportunity that big, don't think that somebody's not going to take it. Somebody is going to take it. And if you want it, you better go get it before it slips right out of your fingers. So for the 14th, I feel like somebody is headed down a new road. Right into a new partnership, right into a new romance, right into The light. The light is happiness.
good luck. I hope this reading is for you. If you are this woman, and if you are this man, it's in your hands.